Oh, already. Oh, we're missing Jason. But we have enough for quorum. Okay. So, call to order. Any declarations of conflict? And can I get an approval of the agenda? Well, could I uh, add something to the agenda? Absolutely. Uh, code or uh, uh, amendment to the code of conduct in regards to dress code. Okay. Various uh, events. Thank you. Yes. You're going to change it so they don't uh, can't wear a brake button. <laughs> or what? Brake <Right> button. <laughs> so the minutes from our last meeting from August 3rd are in the package. Can I have an adoption of those minutes? Moved by Councillor Duffy, second by Councillor Bernard. Any business arising from those minutes? Okay. No. So we can move right on to a human resource update. All right. So uh, the occupational health and safety numbers are in the package. You'll see that we had 15 employee orientations. We had five recordable incidents, uh, incidents and four of those were no lost time. One um, was a lost time incident. We're kind of wrapping up our summer season here, gearing up for our um, winter hiring shortly. And uh, so you'll see the numbers kind of dropping uh, um, and, and then they'll come to late later in the fall. And then there is one inspection report that you'll see. Uh, it was with one of the contractors. So um, Lenny, our Occupational Health and Safety Coordinator, um, always connects and makes sure that OHS has what they need and works with the contractor to make sure that, they, um, that they're able to resolve whatever situation um, is, is uh, taking place. Great. Anybody have any questions for Bethany? No. Okay. All right. So, no Isaac today? No, he's on. Um, he's sick uh, today, but uh, uh, Doug is uh, taking over. Those, uh, there is an update for uh, in the um, close uh, portion of that. Okay. Sounds good. Um, we can hurry up, so he doesn't want to come to the meeting anymore. I miss <laughs> him. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess we have Rora of the IT report update. Yeah, uh, just had the, uh, I guess, looking to award the uh, RFP for Council Chamber Technology upgrade. Uh, I can go over that if you want, or everything's, everything sh that I think you need will be in that, that report, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Just basically, it's a RFP that we're looking at to update all the technology in here, mostly for the voting systems, uh, streaming systems, video and audio conferencing, uh, audio mixing and video mixing. Anyone have any questions for? I just have one. Sure. Yeah. Rory, I'm just wondering. <coughs> um, anytime Isaac gives me a call, it comes up generally bad on the phone. Does that change? Has uh, has, have you had any calls recently? Because I, Not I think I sent that in about the last month or maybe six weeks. Okay. But if, if if it's been more recent than that, then maybe we need to fix it. But yeah, I, it is something we put in just recently. Um, okay, so it makes, it makes me ask questions on Rob Doherty's name. Was there one on Rob Doherty's name? There there was a line for in Robert Doherty's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when there's new staff, we'll update that. Okay. And wait, we might want to get on now. So, so you think that Isaac is fixed? I just called okay. Isaac's cell phone. And it does finally say Isaac and not Jennifer. So to me, um, that leads me to believe that that second step was as well, yeah. the call display. Yeah. Okay. okay. I was quite perplexed in how that could take so long. It, it basically, no, no one noticed. It's, I did. I, I, no, I, no one brought it to my attention. Okay. And Isaac himself didn't notice. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So with regards to the um, um, chambers which ending that you believe need to be reviewed by the committee, are you happy with the outcome? If there was a large variation, as you can tell, with the um, pricing, but uh, we think uh, they have been in comfort as to what we need to do to upgrade the facility on the uh, chambers. Where is Ivan's audiovisual from? They're, I know they're from New Brunswick. I'm not sure if it's uh, Moncton. Yeah, Moncton. There was no local companies. 
no local companies are interested now. So not even bid? No. That's a shame. There was uh, one local company that showed up for our uh, site visit, but they were not interested in putting in a bid. All right, well. <coughs> that's not bad. All right. So you just need us to... Um, just to approve and refer to council. Refer to council. So for just, just to wind up, by, by reading it, it all seems fine. <coughs> Although it all seems like we already have. So what, what can we expect to be different? The, mm -hmm. Different from... And other than better quality. From, from your perspective, uh, the equipment on the desk will be better quality and there will be a, a dedicated unit for speaking. Oh, yes. yes uh, that's right, too. Yeah. All of that so we stuff. we can turn on and off. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be back to more similar to what it was before we kind of expanded, and all of the equipment that's included. It's uh, it's got the cabling if we need it in this configuration, but it can also go back to the compact configuration with minimal changes. So does that affect Rory? Uh, I forget what the system's called. It we hooked up in here a while ago for the hearing impaired. So there is the the we've got the hearing loop. Yeah. Uh, so there is uh, basically. The output from the audio mixer would go into the hearing loop. So, as long as it's working, as long as the hearing loop is functioning, it should continue to function. If there's been any issues with the hearing loop, though, we'd, we'd have to reach out. And but the hearing loop is here now, it, it just gets integrated into the yeah. new system then? Yep. Yeah. The existing system we have, because it, it, it doesn't have all the, the correct connections mm -hmm. to tie into that hearing loop, so right now the hearing loop is not working, I don't think. Uh, but when we were in our compact configuration, everything was hooked up. So it would have been working then when we changed for COVID. All the wires had to be changed, so nothing hooked up. The new system does have all the hookups for it. That was one of the requirements. So can you hook up with through Bluetooth? Uh, not with, not with the, the current system that's in there. It's something we could look into, but it's not. How would that system work now? With the, the yeah, hearing loop? Somebody comes in with a hearing impairment, how do they yeah. come to the system? So right now with that hearing loop, it's supposed to be, what is it, induction, I think, in the hearing aid itself. So you're supposed to be, and this is, again, I don't use the technology, so I'm not 100% yeah. certain, but it's supposed to be, it sends the signal through the loop, your hearing aid picks it up, and it should just work. So there's there's no need for any. It's just automatic. Yeah. Yeah, it, it would be similar to Bluetooth, but uh, yeah, very different technology. Okay. Yeah. There's also voting in the new system as well, right? So yes, the voting is included in this system, so there's a, a dedicated unit which does the voting and request to speak and all of the audio. And there's also going to be a way that if, if a counselor, for whatever reason, isn't able to attend a meeting, they can video in. Uh, the video conferencing, yeah, that's that is an option. Uh, basically, it would show up on the the monitors here. So, right, if someone did want to do video conferencing, yes, they could. The voting, I'm not sure how that would work remotely. We may have to just record it manually. Uh, there's no there's no current integration for remote for the voting system itself. So if someone had to video in, would you also put it up on the screen so that So as people? part of the system, the, we would go back, we'd be getting rid of this big TV. We'd have the two TVs on the walls. Okay. And all of the monitors, there'd be new monitors, and they'd all have a, a video display. Right. And also here, we're upgrading the speaker system so we can hear through the um, chambers as well. So when people at home are listening in, they're going to be able to listen in a lot better. Yes. And each, because there's going to be a mic at each station, uh, there's also uh, headphone jacks. If anyone is having issues, any counselors are having issues with hearing, they can uh -huh. plug in their own headphones. Okay. Uh, Here? An option. Here? Yes. yes. If if you wish to do so. There's also a built-in speaker in each of those. So no, that's, yeah. Okay. That's okay. So, uh, okay. And that's, and that's, the idea. that's why they have to turn off the different mics that doesn't pick up. Yep. And th when, do, when, is, when is this going to be completed? Uh, the expected timeline, if it's <coughs> awarded on the 13th, the, I do have it here. One second while I find it. So, 
slide in North October. Can't slide. It was looking like uh, they were thinking probably about six weeks to get the equipment in, and then probably about two to four weeks after that before everything would be completed. So probably late November, early December. That's kind of the rough estimate. How large for last year? And when we go back to um, eventually when when people are able to sit in here again like we used to have, it's not going to affect where these little tables get moved to. You're going to be able to be pretty flexible and yeah, move so this stuff around. The idea is the the RFP requested that they include all the cables required to put everything back to the kind of the, the old way of doing it, the more compact configuration. So we'll be able to do that, have the tables and the gallery over here. And, and what happens if we have to change it again? Is there is there going to be included in there so that you can change it too? Yeah, so, and it, the everything will be here to go with our current configuration and our okay. current configuration. Yeah. Great. The, the intent is to go in October, pull out a meeting while we're developed to go back to your compact size. Perfect. Great. Anyone else have any questions? Thanks, Rory. This is exciting. Mm -hmm. So do we need a motion? It's just like Christmas. Mm -hmm. I know. Can I get a motion to move this on to council? Moved by Councillor Duffy, second by Councillor Bernard. <coughs> All those in favor? Okay. All right. So is the new business, should that be in closed session or is that open session, Councillor Duffy? Your, uh, your, your new business. Uh, should this move on to finance? You said move on to council. Yeah, I was just going to say this is going to finance. They haven't already had it. It's, 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 it would automatically go to the local ministry for council. Would automatically go to, to finance to first. And everything goes to finance yeah. first. Right. And, and okay. It to go. All right. Yeah. Back to your question. Uh, I, uh, I think this could be done in the open session. I don't think there's any names or whatever. It's just okay. um, another right. councillor suggested to me that maybe it was time for us under the code of conduct to uh, you know put some sort of address code for you know public meetings you know in the public eye especially not necessarily uh, working meetings or closed sessions or usually with a closed session there is the open session but uh, so I said we had um, this meeting here at HR on Tuesday which today is and here we are so I'm just passing it on that uh, I've noticed it too that on occasion the dress code is getting a little slack. Uh, so I just put it on the floor of discussion. I think most people are, are in step. But now and then some people are way out and some people are they're off the, the mark. And that's that's subjective talk. That's not objective talk. So anyway, I just don't know what the rest of the committee would feel like. We used to have one day, for example, back in the nineties we had we had one, you would never come into this room without a sports jacket at a minimum on. And I know that may be archaic and kind of schoolish type of thing, but maybe it's a discussion not only for this committee, but for the whole council. Mm -hmm. it, uh, with, uh, sometimes it shows disrespect for the organization. Uh, and I'm not going to delve into it, I, I don't want to go too far into it, we all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's, I've done what I was asked to do. Does anyone have any other um, comments or? Well, I, I guess it didn't, you, you want to define them, but I think I know what Mike's getting at. Yeah. Um, are you stopping Michael with a suit and tie 12 months for the year? Not necessarily. I think the, the event and the time of the year would dictate it somewhat. I mean, you know, this, the hot, hot uh, flat or the hot session in the end there. Ten days ago, you would have to consider somebody to have a white shirt and tie on, uh, especially if the air conditioning is not working. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, I, 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 I can see what you're saying. I just wonder how we would put that into play. Uh, yep. But mostly, we do wear a shirt and tie. And the summer months, July and August, do the golf shirt, whatever, the dress pants. Um, I mean, there are terms that define, like business casual and business yeah. formal. I mean, there are terms that 
maybe the staff could just look at a couple of other um, uh, uh, municipalities, say Halifax or Mr. Kelly can advise us of that, Monty, Moncton, St. John, what the other folks in the mayor times are doing. You know, it's understandable. For example, if like the mayor's cup of golf is going to be played on Friday, I believe. And if we had a you know, if we had a meeting, um, you know, and people are getting ready to go to the mayor's cup and then and you're looking for quorum for this meeting, well you can be a little bit flexible and say, you know, with bearing in mind that you're going right from here to the golf course, you're not going to show up there in a three piece suit. And unless you want to Talking to Ben Spears shortly after you think you're crazy. Um, but business cards so, will cover that. Pardon? Business cards should cover that. Yeah, yeah. But if you were ahead of public meeting. you're talking about coming in with a pair of shorts on, pan of hand shorts, and then flip flops, whatever, yeah. you know, time out of time. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Uh, and I don't disagree. I think something needs to be changed there and have the board of staff and come up with what the program yeah. It's unfortunate that. We even have to have that well, conversation. Have, about yeah. It. yeah. It's usually only one or two, but it's kind of a show of rebellion for some. Right. Waving the flag of uh, don't tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. Anyway, anyway. Cool for staff in discussing bring something back to the recommendation. See what we can do. We can certainly do some research on that. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, it shouldn't have to go the way. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, anyway. yeah. You can go back to the Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. So if I can have a resolution now to move into closed section, as per section 1191, subsection 6, moved by Councillor Duffy, seconded by Councillor Bernard. Okay. Yes.